At the very core of a debrief is reflection and repetition, both pillars of learning. Using a debrief after an activity or at the end of a session allows players to learn from one another. It also allows you, the coach, to assess if players fully comprehend the learning outcomes. As coaches, we want our players to get in the habit of linking and constructing meaning from their experiences and relating it to the greater game. In the next video, watch how the coach skillfully uses a debrief. So let's see here. How many did you guys get done? 30. 30. Okay, how about over there? 30. Okay, how about you? 21, okay. 17. Okay, not bad. The magic number today was? 30. 15. So everybody passed. Excellent. Okay, now, what are the things that we learned when we went over passing today? Yes, go ahead. Do not kick it with this part. Okay, don't yeah. kick it with your toe. What part of the foot do you want to use? The side, and also if you go like this, it's more likely to go under. Good, so if you hit it with your toe, you might hit underneath the ball. What part of the ball do you want to hit it on? The equator. The equator. How come? What happens if you hit underneath it? Um, yes. It goes yeah, that's right. Is there a time in the soccer game that you want to pop the ball up? Only over a player. Yeah, sometimes there is. But when we're passing on the ground, we want to hit it on the equator. Okay, if what else? If you want to get it over a player, then yes. If you want to get over a player, then yes. And what else? What is the last thing? What about our non-kicking foot? Which way is it pointed? Point it at the player. person who you want to pass it. Good. Point it at your target. All right. Hey, good job, everybody. Okay. So as a review, debriefing consolidates player learning. It allows for shared connections and understanding between players and coach. And it also allows you, the coach, to assess the understanding of each player.